The question this video is going to answer is like, have I used this B-roll in the timeline somewhere? If I have, can you show me where please, Premiere Pro? Alright, so there's two ways, and both of them are a little weird, because uh, what I tend to do, well, you know, I need to write this down because every time I look in the wrong place, because you'd be like, alright, just click in here, right click it and say, alright, uh, reveal in sequence. Hmm. And you can show it in my finder, why can't it show me on my sequence? It knows, okay, but uh, it's not in there. If that's where you're looking. Okay, the first weird way is using the icons. Okay, so let's down the bottom here. I'm on list view. That's just a personal preference. You might already be on icon view. Okay, and when you're on icon view, what you'll notice or may have noticed, I'm going to go to full screen. Remember the tilde key on your keyboard to make that panel nice and big. You see some of them either have gray stuff because they have audio and haven't been used. Okay, or nothing at all. So this one here, no icons. It's because, see this little blue thing? That means it's being used on my timeline. See it there? Ooh -hoo. Okay, so I know that those are being used. That might be enough. You might be like, oh yeah, being used. Don't try and put another tie the belt, um, another time the belt B roll on there. You've already got one. Uh, if you want to actually find it, uh, let's go back to I think tilde again. Let's find one of them. Let's say this one here because I got two tilts ups. I'm like, which one did I use? Clearly this one. Easy. It's being used one time even. Okay, and if you click on it it'll actually tell you the time code. If you use it more than once, it'll have a couple of options here. You can just click on it and look, it takes you straight to there in the timeline. That's probably the easiest way to do it. If you wanna be, I don't know, it's a different way of doing it in list view. Okay, so in list view, what you can do is, I'm gonna go to full screen again, remember the tilde key. You've got all this metadata on the top. So we've kind of talked about adding more. Let's add another one. Okay, so I'm gonna right click, metadata display, go in here, you can never find them in the search. You gotta type them in. Ha, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I was typing in used. Okay, it's usage, usage. Uh, you can see here, I wanna turn on video and audio usage. Okay, it's under the meta, you know, if you can't remember either, it's under this first one. I can never seem to remember which kind of folder these are all added to. So let's click okay. And you'll see all the way down here, where is it? Uh, did you know, I'm using my scroll wheel. You can use the little slider down here. I don't know. Is this a tip? I hold shift and use my slider wheel, like my scroll wheel to go back and forth this giant list. Okay, and where is it? There it is there. So I'm going to drag these along because maybe I want them. It's more important for me to know where they have been used. Maybe in this instance, okay, maybe you're tidying up or you're doing B-roll, you can slide them along. Hit my tilde key. Okay, and you can see where is the here you go, this guy's been used four times. Okay, so you can tell all the different, you can see all the different times there. Here you go. I use mainly the thumbnail version of that, but you can obviously use this list version. Remember the word usage, okay? And we're gonna do this later on, but hey, I'll throw it in here. You can save a view preset of like, all of this stuff of like where your frame rates are, you know, this kind of organization of these columns. And you might use this video usage all the way up here. So it remembers every time that you work on a new project. All right, that is how to find if something's been used uh, in your sequence already.